opened up our fig tree, our fig trees. If you followed this whole story of the fig trees, then you know what I'm particularly talking about. If you don't, just check some of the videos so that to understand the history of the fig tree here. There are some good and bad pieces of news regarding uh, fig tree. So first of all, it survived. As you see, I think the bars are okay, but someone had a really good feast and I have no idea who did this. Like literally no idea. I am frustrated because you know, um, the fig tree is alive. It's good, but what will come out of it? I have no idea. And also in this trench, we had the, the uh, another two fig trees. They are all completely eaten by a kind of a beast. I don't know what that beast is. So we had three uh, fig trees in a trench. Um, this one probably can survive these two i'm not sure then we also had a fig tree in a separate cover uh, and i think it's also alive i mean like judging by the cut so it wasn't a separate cover so no one had this really good feast <laughs> i hope that right now after having removed the the cover it will be okay and we also had uh, some of the fig trees in in our small yard, flower yard, yeah, in here. So we had three in here, here and here. They also were in a separate cover, so this one is alive. Um, and no one had a feast in here. That's, by the way, that small, small walnut tree. So we will just replant it later when it will be it will be bigger. Also this one is okay as well. Then this one is also okay. So I've cut all the damaged parts. We will see how it will grow later. And also we have a small walnut in here as well. In a way the experiment was successful. Um, if not for this beast. <laughs> By the way, guys, do you have any idea who could do such a thing? The trench was fully covered. It can't be a hare, but who? It should be a s s someone small, something, <laughs> something small, because it kind of sneaked into the trench. Um, it, uh, I have no idea who could do that. And those bites seem to be fresh. So I have a guess that it happened approximately probably uh, at the end of March or maybe several days ago as always it was always happen happens with me and I will still uh, carry on experiment and we have several of the seedlings in our apartment we will move one of them into the poly tunnel um, so we'll see how it, it going um, it's going to be in there and I'm really curious about still these ones uh, because um, when this whole period of opening up the butts um, will start, so will they have any side shoots or maybe something will grow from the root, especially those really damaged ones. Though I, I can't say that I have hope for, for those. I have hope only for the plants that have some of the branches. Um, so still a long way to go with fig tree. The fig tree is ready. Look how green it is from our apartment. Actually, it didn't get rid of the leaves during winter. It was a kind of an evergreen plant. And look how many roots there are in here. So I will, I hope that the fig tree will like it in here. In any case, it will be warmer inside the polar tunnel than outside. Mm -hmm. 
one of the fig trees is definitely alive as it started shooting. Yeah, here. But this part is actually the warmest part. So it's protected from different winds. This one is also alive, but the shoots are coming from the root. This one is probably a bit dry, but the lower part of it is alive. And this one, I think is also alive, judging by the shoot, which is coming from the bottom. So the experiment, I think, is successful. The only thing is to have a clo close eye on them and to see how they're going to show themselves during the first year after the winter. And this one is also alive and has a lot more shoots. So that is the one which was kind of eaten. <laughs> The bark of which was eaten by mice, I suppose. Mm -hmm. And this one was also eaten by mice, but I don't think that it survived. Probably it had good winter. I mean, it could have survived if not, but if not because of this mice. And uh, this one is also alive, eaten by mice as well. But the shoots are coming from the bottom. It's a good sign. And also the last fig tree that were planted in the open was this one. And it also alive. So it has shoots coming from the bottom. But what concerns like the upper part of the fig tree it doesn't survive cold winters that we have in Belarus. Only one of them actually survived in the cold winter and it has shoots on the upper branches. One was actually bitten by returning frost. Um, I decided to move it from the pulley tunnel and the first night it turned out to be a little bit frozen, but it's alive, it's okay. Well, hello, my sweet friend. I can already see the texture of the leaf. <laughs>